To use PCG with Material Layer Blending in Unreal Engine, first, enable the PCG plugin by coming to Plugins and searching for Procedural Content. Make sure to check the box next to Framework, and it will ask you to restart your editor. Once you've done that, we need to create a level with a landscape component. I'm going to go to File, New Level, choose Open World, hit Create, and then I'll come default with a uh, landscape component. From here, we need to create a material that's going to house all our data layers that we're using to spawn our static meshes. In this example, I've already created a landscape layer. If we take a look, it's pretty basic. Uh, the material function has the checkbox for use material attributes, which will collapse the function. And then I'm using a landscape layer blend node, which I have created two layers, uh, one called trees and one called rocks. You could theoretically add dozens of layers for all your various static meshes. Be advised though, for each one you add, you will have to create a make material attribute and you're gonna wanna pass in a texture for it. Ideally, you won't want to do what I'm doing, which is using simple green and red. You want to actually use a texture that makes sense uh, for the actual static mesh. As an example, gravel, mud, you know, water, rocks, what have you. So once you do that, save your material, head back to your level, and we now need to highlight and assign this material to our landscape component. If I select landscape, I'll scroll down. Here's the landscape material. I'm just going to hit this little arrow, and it should load it in, and the world will likely go black. Uh, if we go back, we now need to create our PCG uh, graph. So you can right click and then select PCG and then you have PCG graph right here. Uh, I've already created one called example. So let's take a look at that. It's pretty simple. There's just a, a node for get landscape data. I'll pull that into a surface sampler node and then I'm pulling into a transform points. Uh, this one allows me to adjust an offset, a rotation and a scale randomly to each static mesh. So it gives them a little bit of variety. I'm then pulling into two different attribute filters. The first one, I am targeting trees, and the second one, I'm targeting rocks. And then I'm basically checking the box for using a constant threshold, and I'm saying if the value of the paint layer is greater than 0.2 and has the data layer rocks, then I want you to spawn a static mesh that is currently a rock. And then same thing for the other filter, which is using the filter trees. I want it to spawn an actual tree. Well, let's actually see how this looks in practice. So let's go back to the level. We're going to switch from selection mode to landscape mode and then come to the paint layer. And I'm gonna click this little button down here that says create layers from the assigned material. That'll bring in the two layers that I've created, which are trees and rocks. In this example, I've already saved the asset, but you will have to click the plus sign and create a, a data layer and then save it somewhere in your actual project. Once that's done, I can click each one of these and then start painting. Nothing's going to happen. And that makes sense because we haven't added the PCG component to it just yet. So let's add our PCG component in. And now that it's been added, if I paint again, you'll notice it'll do a little calculation and then it will automatically spawn my rocks and my trees based on the paint layer. And just like that, you've created a landscape material component that works seamlessly with PCG to spawn different static meshes in your world automatically.